So this is going to be a quick video on how to make these lovely ribs. So if you have a project where you need to make a lot of ribs, and I'm about to start a project here of a Blario, and you can see the Blario wing has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ribs per wing. So that's 18 ribs that are virtually the same. There's a slight difference on the top. Uh, the root rib is probably going to be made out of basswood to make it stronger and the rest of them will be balsa. But that's, you know, that's a lot of ribs to make uh, identical uh, ribs. So I'm going to make a, a template. Uh, but for now, let's just show you a simpler one. Uh, this is the hanger rat model, which I just finished. Uh, these are the plans that I reworked. And you can see I cut the rib out. All right, so then you have this paper rib here okay so the next thing you do you get some of these countertop samples from your Home Depot or your Lowe's and this is made out of a kind of a laminate it's very strong really hard to sand it accidentally you glue your rib right on there and then shave off all the pieces you don't need and you end up with these pieces here. This is the countertop material made into a rib. And you make them together and drill holes. Okay, and I'll show you how that works. So here's a piece of 1 16th inch balsa. You can see that. And I'm going to take my rib template now and put that on there and leave myself a little bit of room at the top and a little bit of room at the bottom and mark that with a pencil. say about there and we'll go ahead and grab a metal edge so now I take my exacto knife and cut that okay and we're gonna make two of those Now I've got my two strips and let's just cut these. That now I have two, four, six. save these for later and I'm going to carefully place these laminate templates on either side and sandwich the balsa in between and use the templates as a guide for sanding and cutting so to make sure that the two templates are perfectly lined up I use my pin vise and the pre-drilled holes and Carefully make some 90 degree drill holes through and insert some nylon screws. And then the other template fits right on the other side, perfectly aligned with the first template. And we want to put some nuts on here to hold the two templates in place and keep them perfectly aligned throughout the cutting and sanding and filing that we're going to do next. So I've got my piece here and we're just going to get rid of some material very quickly with this razor saw and we're just going to use a little fast motion video here 
turn the piece around so the camera gets a better look at what I'm doing. It's very satisfying to take all this material off all in one shot. Using the Master Airscrew Razor Plane made by Windsor Propeller LLC. These razor planes not only save a lot of time, but they put virtually no balsa dust into the air. Oh, that thing's really cool. Okay, next up, we're gonna put on a dust mask. Always have to have a dust mask. Sandpaper block, and this is, all, this is really the fun part. You can hear it when it's touching the laminate, it's done. So, again, sanding is just way fun, but it makes a lot of balsa dust, which isn't that great to breathe, so you should wear a mask or a respirator. So, you can hear the Sandpaper is touching when it touches the laminate, it makes a very different sound here. See, right there, touching the laminate. Now, I don't need to go any deeper. Very happy with that. Now you can see just how beautifully that's done. Smooth, 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 smooth. Now the one thing I'm missing is this little piece here. There's going to be a 1 16th by 1 8th inch trailing edge on the back of the wing. Like that. So I need to take that out. And so, I take just a little file, and I'm going to mark where that spot is. And there's a, a okay, you can see the little line there. And I'm just going to carefully follow the shape of the template with this file to make a notch at the back of the ribs so that they sit nicely on that trailing edge. Oh, it's nicely notched now. You can see now that this will fit right on that trailing edge. So I've got that. All right, now let's take this back over and finish this up. And there's my piece and See just a little bit here, so I'm going to take some very fine sandpaper and just finish that off. That's beautiful. So now we just going to undo these. Yeah, I've got these screws on pretty tight so that nothing would move while I was working, so I got to use a screwdriver to get them back off again got to be careful not to put them on too tight because you don't want to mark up the soft balsa wood. I'll just pop these nylon screws out. Take off our laminate strips. That's the piece. Okay. And now I've got six perfect ribs. All identical. Look at that. Six and four ribs. There they are. Beautiful. So that's how you do it. 
and it makes really, really nice, consistent results. And you know, each rib is exactly the same. And I've got all the ribs I need now to make a new wing for my hangar rat. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you.